Hi guys, welcome to the final part of my custom guitar vlog. If you haven't already checked out part one and part two, the links to those videos are in the description below. If you enjoy this type of content, please like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. So without further ado, let's do it. So the day has finally arrived. I've just received my finished guitar. It is a Martin Booth special, custom built. It is absolutely stunning. To say I'm blown away by the quality of this instrument is a complete understatement. It is an absolute masterpiece. It is more incredible than I ever could have imagined and cannot wait to show you guys the finished results. So for those that are interested in the exact specifications of the guitar, I'm going to walk you through some clips of the guitar showcasing the different components and materials used. Here is a brief overview of each part of the guitar and the materials and components used in the final build. It's a right-handed instrument and features a comfort cutaway and 22 frets. The body is made from mahogany and it features a tone chamber design. For those not aware of the tone chamber design, there are hollow sections of the body and this helps the instrument to resonate and sing. The hollow area is located approximately here on the instrument. The top is a beautiful piece of quilted maple. It's just stunning. This is actually my first selection when I visited the workshop for my custom build. It was a pleasure to be able to pick out the exact top of my choosing. I fell in love with this top, the symmetrical knots and the quilted pattern. The fingerboard of the guitar is Rio Rosewood. I opted for a maple wood binding and it is truly remarkable as a result. Black side dots to complement the more extrovert planet style inlays, which consist of assorted shell. I opted for an ebony headstock, which is also maple bound alongside planet inlays to match the fingerboard and an Abalone Martin Booth branded inlay. The nut is a Graf Tech Tusk XL in white and opted for a JED6150 correct wire. After a lot of deliberation, I decided on a midnight blue colour, which was stained by Martin Booth in his workshop. The finish is nitro and gloss with an exposed binding to preserve the intricate wood binding. For the hardware, I went for mainly gold. However, I decided to leave out gold pickup covers and opted for black pickups and black surrounds to complement the midnight blue. The gold hip shot tremolo is a popular choice for a Martin Booth special, as are the Spurzel trim lock locking machine heads. As previously mentioned, I went for black pickups and surrounds. I chose Seymour Duncan pickups with a JB at the bridge and Jazz at the neck. I will be demonstrating the various tone capabilities of the guitar in this video, so stay tuned. For the tone and volume, I went for black and gold inserts to match the theme of the rest of the guitar and hardware. I had various options as you can see. The tone knob is a push control enabling me to select single pickups. The guitar is topped off with an electro gold jack socket and Dunlop dual design strap buttons. I also have a beautiful Hiscox hard shell case with dark blue material and a Martin Booth Guitars leather strap. So now I've given you an overview of the finished instrument, let's hear her plugged in.
So there we have it guys, that concludes the final part of my custom guitar video. I hope you enjoyed checking out my guitar and seeing all of its features, all of the parts of the build, and also listen to some of the tones and capabilities of the instruments. And I'll see you all very soon. Oh, my God.